like I should model new knee pads. Look, hey, limbering up. Look, to, to look the, base, isn't it? the stretching and folds. Look at that go. Oh, I can feel six and a half years just brewing in her. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, close one for the camera. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's a new video, it's a new week, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, please. Okay guys, sun's out, it's early, seven o'clock, Monday morning, new start, new job, can't wait for it, nice fresh job, um, yeah, let's head down there now, let's go to a little time lapse, get down the, uh, get down to Gamston, in, is it Gamston in West Bridge or is it Gamston in Gamston, I don't know, but um, yeah, we're heading to uh, Gamston to do a driveway, so let's do that now. Okay, so I suppose I better show you around this week's job. Nice big driveway. I've got about eight days on this. So basically, your standard sort of driveway, big rectangle near enough, isn't it? Um, we've got some nice curbing going in here to retain this border. And then as the customer has marked out for us, we're gonna have a nice little border here and one here. And that's pretty much it my light folds has just arrived yeah, sun's out guns out he's got a little string vest on under there today yeah, have you really yeah jamaica one top boy yeah boy so that's that thing in it that yeah boy who is it uh that cook guy What's the name? thingy tomato tangy tomatoes and thingy peppers or whatever oh what's his name chef tv chef Let no, no i was gonna say no it's not it's, i was gonna say even holmes We'll get back to you. I can't, I can't, is, is, yeah, there's a clip room and he goes, yeah, yeah boy. boy. I can't remember it is. Spicy. Oh, <laughs> legendary clip. Legendary <laughs> clip. The name will come back to me. Chris knows it's him. So anyway, yeah, we'll just wait for Chris to arrive and we'll get on this machine and get uh, digging this bad boy out. So I think we've got a couple of days digging, let's be honest. So I'm hoping it comes out a doddle. So, uh, oh, speak of the devil, he shall appear. Coming up the road. This is what he does. Arrives late and then drives up the road under my now. Then he's been in a rush. Yeah, boy! Oh, ooh. See that, guys? That's what I have to deal with. Insolence. Anyway, he's here, so let's get rocking and rolling. Okay, first things first. We need to break a little corner out so uh, the machine can get in, start uh, digging. So we'll take a little corner out now. Excuse me, I started videoing this and they started doing it without asking me. So now, it's noisy.
well as you've probably all seen on the time lapse we are making good good progress so this is coming up beautifully um this has cleared, cleared this out so imagine you'll properly reduce dig this area now and um, we've got dave coming out for a grab maybe two grabs at some point today we definitely there's definitely a load if not two here a eh, folder yeah it's definitely a load so um yeah we're ready to rock and roll so i'll give dave a ring in a minute we'll get on that um i think he said he could come out at lunch time ish it's my fault i didn't ring i've been busy this weekend at uni um yeah again i would noticed a couple of people in the comments complaining about the sand yesterday that's something we need to look into i think we've got little rubber protective cases on these cameras and i think what's happening is in the wind and rain i think a bit of rainwater gets in the microphone they are waterproof but it gets in the little microphone slot and causes problem i noticed it myself when i was editing so i just want to apologize to you all it's probably going to happen again but it's something i'm going to try and try and work on in the future where i need to get a proper mic or i don't know i, I, I don't know I, I don't know enough about all this i'm a landscaper so i'll find out how to do it so at the minute folds is busy in himself he's taking these uh border blocks on concrete out I'm dead proud of him. I feel like a proud father. You got your red pants on today? What colour are you going, baby? Ooh! Jesus, black on. You guys, you didn't see that. Did, did see or hear nothing. <laughs> see no evil, speak no evil. No damage done. Um, that goes to show you a lapse in concentration. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll uh, continue as we do. morning tuesday morning we're on site and the first load has gone didn't quite have enough for a second load so we left it so we're going to start reducing again hopefully by the end of play today with a little bit more organization than yesterday um we shall get rid of more and uh get it well hopefully it'll be all dug out and stoned up by end of play tomorrow but we're not in a rush because next week I had a few days booked in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get this finished and a little job at the end of the week, but they have postponed due to the Easter bank holiday. They want to do it in the middle of April now. So we're not in a rush, it don't matter. Take us time. I know that seems to aggravate people no end on here, but uh, I'm not in a no rush. Life's for living and enjoying. Sun's out. Take your time. No point stressing yourself into an early grave. So anyway, we'll get digging and uh, rock and roll.
Okay, so, as you've seen, we have now got, is that second load? Second, maybe third load. So, I think once this next load's gone, which should be arriving any minute, the lorry, we can then do the, the final grading. Go around, the boys just pulling the uh, existing edges out. And tomorrow I'll be stoning. So, uh, yeah, quite happy with it. Like I said, we're not in any rush. Taking it easier, coming up to Easter, so we can enjoy that with our families. Nice bank holiday weekend. But, uh, yeah, quite chuffed with it. So, uh, yeah, I think Dave or, I imagine it'll be Jord. Jord will be here in a minute. And uh, we'll get this muck away. Go on, can't you go in there and play? Switch him up here, go on. Go! Not me. Really, go. Go. You're very excited. Ooh. I'm shy. It's always the Eddie the Egg will come and eat it. <laughs> Go on. Are you looking at? Here we are, look. Just arriving. Happy days. Sun's come out. I wouldn't like to drive a big lorry like that. Scare me. Who's part of van there, look? <laughs> So that's our second load away as you've seen. Just finishing up that last little leveling up now and that last little scrape off. So yeah, that's it. Get a power ready for the morning and then we've got 30 ton of roadstone coming tomorrow to knock around, path edgings, etc. etc. I even had a chance to get out of the van this morning, it's all kicking off. So uh, yeah, we've got the last pile ready. I don't know where Chris got to with the footage yesterday. The last pile is ready to go. Jordan's arrived, it's half past seven, would you believe? We've had to do an early on this morning to fit it in, so thank you to Dave and Bernie for getting here nice and early. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this stone off and uh, do some work, I suppose.
So as you've just seen, that is the last of the muck away and the stone delivered. So we are ready to rock and roll now. Chris has just got the machine cranked up. Um, Doesn't look like a lot of stone. We've got another load of stone coming with two loads in here. So we're uh, just getting ready to rock and roll. Me and Folds are going on a little mission now to pick up some curbing that we're going to run around underneath for the porch at the customer's request. So, uh, yeah, ready to go. So, as I just said, me and Bugs. Bugs? You on camera, mate? Make an effort, please. And Folds there. We're off on a little trek to John A. Stevens now to fetch some curbing. Bit of a drive at this time of the day and all, nine o'clock. It's going to be an absolute ball ache, but uh, needs must. So we didn't really know we needed them. We were going to put them in at the end of the job, but we've uh, the customers requested some extra, so we're going to drop them in now. Um, yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? What do you reckon, Bob? That's a little chucky bar. <laughs> you can't have no chucky bars. They made you poorly last time, didn't they? Because you had nine in one go. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, Folds, you forgot to do? Nothing. Forgot to record. I were at John A's loading up. So we did go to John A's. My hair is appalling. I look like some crazy professor. It's a long story, guy. Long story short, I'm growing it long so I can tie it back. It's not just, it's a bit far off now, but not far. <laughs> but the problem I'm having is, 
I was wearing a woolly hat that covered it, but now the weather's getting warm, it's too hot to wear a woolly hat every day, so I have to wear this silly headband, and then obviously with the weather and whatever, but it's not long off time, I'll be able to tie it up in a couple of months. But, uh, and before you all start, why are you having long hair? I'll tell you why. Because I won't have it that much longer. <laughs> so I'll make it most of it, that's it. Anyway, we've been and picked up these curbs. 60 of them. 60 of them, want the folds. Mm. I loaded about seven of them in. Mm. And then, Christopher is thinking of doing something like this, I'm not sure what. The camera screen's gone off. So basically they're gonna sit under this sill kinda here. If that makes sense. So they've got to run all the way around there. And we've got to get these edges in. However, we are uh, doing all right. Wait for another load of stone. Not going too bad. This is an important thing to share, so I'm going to. Right, if you guys need a tip for gardening or workwear, this one I can actually verify. So, in this game, I would argue is probably the hardest on your knees in terms of wearing knee protection knee pads. So, I've had this pair of knee pads and they've lasted, I won't say forever, but a considerable amount of time, yeah? So the other day, one of the buttons has finally come loose on the side where the strap goes, so I've had to purchase a new pair. And when I went to purchase it, I realised that these pads, originally I bought, I don't know if you can see this, in, I don't know if it will focus, in 2018. So they've lasted six and a half, it was six and a half, not eight, I got it wrong. Six and a half years. And the only thing that's gone wrong is, you see that little button there? It's come loose, so obviously they keep coming undone. So I felt it was time for a new purchase, which I've done. And they've arrived today, so these ones can go, which I'm sad to see them go. But I talk about use, I think they were 20 to 30 pounds, which sounds quite a lot for knee pads. But however, if you're going to get six, seven year use out of them. So big shout out to, I think the company's called No Cry. I don't know why you'd have knee pads that are called No Cry. <laughs> I don't know what you'd be doing on your knees that made you cry. But can you? We can name a few things, but yeah, so shout out to No Cry. I'm gonna put no, the link to no, them, no, or their, no the Amazon link or the manufacturer's link in the description. Um, but yeah, I cannot, absolutely, there's no, I'm not being, in, what's the word for it? Endorsed. I'm not being endorsed. Christopher is here stroking his knee pad lot. Jackson's fellas, you know the score. Jackson's, who do you think you are, a medieval knight? Bend at the knee lot. Oh, bend at the knee. Because obviously if you've got a knee pad on, you can't bend at the knee, can you? No. There's no actual advantage to it. You've got a fire defender. Like yeah, Robocop. Okay, Still like I work. said, if the Jackson knee pads outlive the six and a half, seven year no cry knee pads, we'll shout them out, but I can't see it. Don't cry about it. <laughs> no crying. So anyway, shout out to no cry knee pads. I'm going to put a link in the thing. So I appreciate a lot of people aren't going to do what we do for a living, but even just gardening and stuff like that, these have gone through many, many in 15, 20 years, and these are the best that I've used. So, cannot complain at all. There you go, look, no cry. And again, the link will be in the description. So, not endorsed. I paid for these myself. I just, it's worth telling you guys because they are definitely worth having. Anyway, enough of that bollocks. <laughs> Let's put some edgings in. Limbering up, look. To, to look the, at that. the stretching and folds. Look at that go. Oh, I can feel six and a half year just brewing in her. <laughs> Woo! Jack. Yeah. Oh, close one for the camera. <laughs> So now we're doing three things at once. We're doing edgings. The next load of stones arrive. Folds it up panicked. Folds it up panic face. So yeah, we'll stop a minute, just get these stone drops off and uh, then we'll continue.
that is the uh, next load of stone here. So we've got to knock all that about, get it ready, and get on with these edges again and continue. Off door goes. Okay, so that is all our edgings in. So uh, we're going to just start with the left. Did I even say that in English then? We're just going to start manually shifting a bit of stone while Chris is busy. And then uh, we can get on the machine in a bit. Get on with it. The plan is to get this guy all stoned up and whackered so we can get the sand put on here in the morning. Okay, so edgings are all in, as I said. We're going to start, uh, Chris has done what he's doing now. So we're going to start finishing up with the stone in. Um, get it all stone and whacker ready for tomorrow and the materials arrive. So uh, yeah, we're making good progress. Weather's turned a bit for the worse, but such is life. Off we go. Okay, so we've got this area stoned up, but can anybody spot the problem? Gross misconduct. I have overordered on roadstone, so uh, <laughs> slightly misjudged it. What it is is it's the same measurement as last week, but last week we did the side, so I ordered the same amount of stone. Anyway, it's four or five ton too much. So bless, thank God. Uh, Jordan was still in the area, so he's going to pop over and fetch it and take it back to DJ's yard so he can restock it. I've already paid for the stone and he can have it back, so everyone's a winner. But uh, yeah, thank God they can come and shift it, otherwise we'll be slightly stuck, wouldn't we? Yeah, so they're coming in a second to get rid. Uh, Ryan's just trying frantically to rake it all up because it's a bit hard when you've got a five-ton pile in your way. We're just getting tidied up the best we can while we've got 20 minutes to spare. Okay, so we've just realised why we wait for Lauren. This side's red air, so we can whack it in now. I don't know if you heard that.
So this morning has already been chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be bothered, but it's, yeah. So John Hayes was already here when I got here. We've had all the sand dropped off um, and delivered. Um, so uh, as you can now see, the next lorry just turned up with all our pavers. So that is a lot of block pavers. Uh, and it looks like we're having a slight hold up. So we're just waiting for the customer to come back and discuss something and then we can get on, hopefully. But um, yeah, let's flick over the time. Let's get this lorry unloaded. So, as you've seen, that's all our blocks delivered. We are laying this driveway in a... <laughs> this is gonna shock you all. Class B Premier 60. So, really popular block. People keep asking why do you always lay the same block? It's what people want. It's popular. A lot of people nowadays are having anthracite and black fascias on their house. So they want dark gray driveways. And also, there is the whole um, practicality of it. Darker the grey, the less dirt and such shows up on them. So you kind of get a longer use out of them. So my recommendation personally would be, if I was to have my own drive reblock paved, I would go with a dark, I'd go with the charcoal, the ones we tend to use for the borders, as they start off really dark. After about five years of sun bleaching, they lighten up and they just don't show any muck because they just, you know near black so pretty good stuff so um yeah anyway i'll flick over let's get this drive signed up and whackered So as you've just seen, that's all the sand knocked about ready for whackering at about an inch thick. Thing of beauty. So we're just gonna give it a whacker now. The boy's just fetching that. Then we'll start screeding up.
look at her just finishing the third bay probably got one more after this we're all screeded and then we'll get it all laid it's looking good i'm up here everyone's up here oh we've got a standoff this is the height difference between me and you same height bro so i'm taller now i'm six foot three in it Six I'm a six foot boy. You're not six foot. You've six never foot been six foot. Ten. Six foot on a hill. Right, how big are you? You're on a hill. Shut up, how big are you? Six foot. Right. That's six two. Okay. You're on a hill, bro. Oh, you're four inches lower, higher than him. You've got to blame land differences. Mm. I'm bigger than him. You can't stand the yellow pages and claim to be eight foot tall. He does. I know he does. Six three, aren't you? You claim to be drug free. Wow, those accusations. <laughs> Okay, so that is us beautifully screeded. So, unfortunately, it's one of them days where time lapsing is going to be predominant because we've got a lot to do. And I can't show you four hours laying, which is what this is about to be. So, we'll go to a time lapse. But it's, uh, I'll be honest with you, it's looking a little bit overwhelming. We shall crack on. It's job and knock now, so if we get it laid, we're done. But this is the only problem. I think personally you should screed off of it, lay off of it, then screed the rest of the team, because I think psychologically, we've had this debate earlier, psychologically, it seems an easier job. I think when you screed the whole area, you look at it and think, oh. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big area, but uh, we can do it. Okay, so we've been laying for about 40 minutes, maybe an hour. We're nearing halfway, I think. So there's a fair bit done. <sighs> it's a lot, isn't it, Bert? It is. It's very tiring. 
And I get people in the comments saying shit. You feel like coming and loading that. How much reckons there? 15, 20 ton of block pavers. <laughs> hey, we had that guy who wanted to come and work for free for a week. Can I just say, it's probably any person who wants to come to Nottingham, stay here. Where are they going to stay? Oh, are staying at your house? Hell no. Correct, mate. Anyone who wants to come to Nottingham, stay here and work with us free of charge for a week, it's clearly insane. No offence. Because who would want to do this for a week for free? Then I kind of risk getting my soul taken though for some free work. <laughs> free labour. <laughs> I don't think it's going to take your soul, it might be another form of soul. Let him eat my soul and eat my soul. That's what he wants to do. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it's going to be what you think. So, uh, yeah, thank you for those offers, but it's slightly, uh, slightly bizarre. So, uh, cool. Anyway, we'll continue. Okay, so that is us about laid up for the day. Just gonna finish this corner to the corner of the house. We'll sort that out tomorrow, can't be bothered. A few more little blocks dropping around the side of the building. The boy's just floating that up now. Looks like we can run into as close to the building as we can. A little tiny bit here. Got a planter to sort out here. And then uh, I'm not sure what Chris is doing. I don't know if he's on about doing this bit now or later or whatever, but that's where we're at. That's what as you can see. That's about 90 square meters laid in a day. Ugh. Broken, ready for bed.